hope a TikTok's been taken away from it though, I really do. I really do. And I know that is, and I, I sound horrible, and I feel horrible saying that because that is a source of income that helps her survive and helps her live, but it's also the thing that is driving her and other people are insane. Thank you. What's happened? She's had another outbreak. Yeah, but this is the thing. I don't think, don't give sympathy messages. Don't, like, I get at that moment it was fine, like, oh my God, are you okay, are you okay, blah, 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 because she could have actually done something stupid. But now we know that she's fine. Don't, don't feed into it, because it's just going to big up her head even more. On another note, the hair looks amazing, thank you. I need to redo it. I've got the bleach, not the bleach, the dye somewhere, but, yeah. I don't know where the dye is. Can someone please tell me what happened? Alpha put a thing to her throat. Someone said it was ways to get views and rankings up. Yeah, do you know what? It possibly would have been that and it probably was that. But if that is the case, then the police should have taken her anyway. Not to arrest her, but to go get her help. Hey, how's you doing? I'm good, Aisha, how are you? She's addicted to the attention. Yeah, exactly, it's unhealthy. It is really unhealthy. Um, behaving like that on live, you don't self-harm publicly, however, you don't bait yourself. You're, how, am I, how am I baiting myself? The tattoo behind your ear is gorgeous, thank you. Good, I'm good, thank you. What's happening with that person now? Oh, you don't even wanna know. She was, oh, what's happening? No, thank you. Um, she's premeditating as she... Well, then that's disgusting. We already have an eye problem in the UK, it just promotes... Exactly, exactly. It's things like... It's like, there is a... There is, if she's not taken to get help, get her off TikTok. That's what it should be. Sorry, but this lighting is gorgeous. <laughs> um, if she does it for the years and she's... She's getting worse. And we'll do anything... Yeah, it is getting worse. It's getting a lot worse. And then soon she'll actually be like, hurting herself on live, if she thinks it's gonna get her views. Did your nose piercing hurt? That one, a tiny bit, that one, not all. 588, what's 588? Um, point proven, Alphabet doesn't care triggering people, clearly. But then com complains about any simple thing saying it's triggering. She's literally the worst person to have. And I don't want to, right, this is like a big dig. This is a really big dig. I don't, why am I saying this? Because people would start screen recording. But I've got so many trans friends, right? And they're just, and it's not diminishing because Alphabet is trans. If someone says they're trans, they're trans, end of. And they wouldn't have gone as far as Alphabet. If Alphabet wouldn't have gone as far as she's gone now to prove that she's trans if she wasn't. But, um, but it's just, People like her and like people on this app who are famous and trans are putting a bad view on that side of the community and it shouldn't be th that way. There should be people up like trans creators uplifting like, I, it was better when Belle Priestley was the big trans girl on TikTok and people like Belle and Yasmin, it's like we don't need Alphabet or the, drama dram the dramatized people being the head of the trans community on TikTok because it just, it brings transphobia up even more. And I'm not saying that people should be transphobic to them people. I am saying them people are making trans people seem a lot less normal than trans actually is. They're not trying to be a whole separate character, they're just trying to be themselves. Whereas these people who are saying that they're trans and that they're always set all this drama, they do it for the views, whereas trans people don't want it for the views, they want it for themselves, and there's clearly the difference. And I feel like people like Elphaba should not be seen as a trans icon. She said she wants to go back to normal. Well, what's normal? If anyone goes against their accent, normal isn't, oh. 
I don't know know her what's her. What? How did TikTok ban her live quicker? I don't know. Um also bloody hell these comments are going quick. Thank you for the likes by the way. I literally I'm not even like bothered. I just wanted to let people know that she's fine. I'm not even gonna be on here for much longer anyway, because I might go out. Um she said she wanted to cut her hair and be normal. Yeah, but at the same time I have had friend I've had friends who are trans who have said that they wish that they could just go back to be in the gender that they were born and make because it make life so much easier because of hey I wish that it's like me I'm gay and I always used to say when I was younger when I was going through so much shit I wish I could just be straight I wish I was this I was just doesn't mean you are it just what would be easier how do you know they're okay babe she's never been okay this is the problem she needs help I am trans myself and I do, and I do understand it. I, yeah, but I feel like it's the same for like, and I'm not trying to say anything, but I feel like it's the same for anybody in the queer community and the LGBTQ plus, but we all just want to be seen as normal. And if that is going back to being straight or going back to being your gender assigned, your, your birth assigned gender, then at first we all have them thoughts. Like if you asked me two years ago, if there was a straight pill, would you take it? In a heartbeat, in a heartbeat. Ask me now, I'd just crush it with my foot and I'd be like, no. What does she do in the video? I feel like you'll see it in a comment coming up in a minute anyway, because everyone keeps talking about it. Why did I hang out with her? Because I'm one of them people who's stupid, and if even, like, I don't listen to what people say about people. I'll make my own decision on people. Like, there's been so many times that people have been like, don't hang out with that person, as in, like, an actual person, like, that we've just seen in a nightclub because they've done this, they've done that, and I'm like, yeah, but people change. That's how I see it, I'm like, they might have done that to you, but they not, might not do it to me. I'm so fucking gullible and I'm so stupid. And I agree that that is myself. Ask yourself why the knife was already next to her. Well, then she probably did do it for attention and I'm, I never said she didn't, but it, yeah, she still needs help. Um, I have the video. Well, people want it, so send it. <laughs> it was a huge knife too. Because it was a costume knife. Does she pay her mods? Probably not. I don't even know how mods work. Someone asked me to put them as my mod, and then I got loads of people asking me to do it. So I put a few people, but I don't know. I don't know if they take a cut of your live. I don't know what happens. No sympathy for her at all. Neither. I never said I had sympathy for her. But obviously, when someone's doing something stupid like that, if you're a decent human being, you'd make sure that they were okay, whether you liked them or not. My worst enemy said they were going to kill themselves. I'd still try and make sure they were okay. Vid on my Twitter, cherry, at cherry137. I might, no, I'll drop in that, no, that is that drama. Young blood, fuck off. <laughs> Definitely could be a costume knife if she put a mask on earlier. Well then, maybe she thought it was a joke, even though it's not, I'm not saying. I'm not trying to, it was just, shit thing to joke about but yeah I've fully just done that on live and someone's about to report me so love you all lots I'm gonna go um cause I'm gonna go out but yeah have a good night and stop thinking about it because she's not worth your mental space cause Toxic. Right, bye girls. Right, bye girls.